Hi guys, I'm your host Ali Khan. Today we are going to learn how to upload uh, accounts payable data, opening data, and uh, through LTMC. So it's a brief uh, video uh, because detailed one I have uh, shown you in account receivable. So just our change of template, that's it. And here we are uh, considering that we have uh, one vendor which has an opening balance of uh, 700 dollars so uh, again same thing we, we will use two uh, templates first one is for the account uh, payables so in that vendor account uh, would be 700 dollars credit and debit account would be offsetting account and in gl account uh, to make it zero offsetting account we have to do it opposite so we credit this account offsetting account 700 and debit will be the GL account and as I told you before that GL account in the end the net balance for all uh, uh, entries in GL account is equal to the retain earning so when we are entering in retain earning so we credit the retain earning account and in offsetting account we will put this account so it will be automatically adjusted so we are taking one i have made the uh, already made the account vendor account 5000 uh, its number uh, offsetting account is the same as mentioned the account receivable account and gl account is same and these are the reports or the reports which we will use so first we go to ltmc uh, i will show you the balances so that's we can this is our vendor 5000 so it already have some uh, balances so i am entering in may there is no balance in may it's zero zero so i'm uh, entering opening balance in may so let's see and for gl account it's a uh, fs tenor so this is our offsetting account this one this offsetting account so as i told you that for each uh, migration uh, this account has a zero value it must be zero so our offsetting account is one so many times zero one so what is the balance in that we just check it out so this is yesterday we did uh, for the account receivable so today we are going to do so in may there should be 700 debit and 700 as it is necessary that it balance should be zero so going back so we start from here Smash in. So we are using the same project, we are not making a new project name. If you want to make, you can just create and make a new. So I'm using the old power count receivable. So I'm just opening this thing. So here you can find like it's easy you can write accounts so all templates relating to accounts will come so first you upload the vendor balance okay so in which we will credit the vendor account and debit the offsetting account like this is the case vendor account with cancellation account is 700 credit and opposite account is offsetting account so we simply go there Click this so first we download and then we will make some entries in that and then upload it so I already downloaded it so I, I will not download it again I will upload it so this is the template so 
just uh, fill the mandatory which has a static sign company name reference anything you can write vendor number that is important offsetting account this is our gl account as i told you that this account which is going to be debit and yes so offsetting account document type document type as it is invoice so we will put so right here as it is invoice and we are making a in may that's it and just be careful that any static is not empty so yes and this is the main thing that we have used a negative 700 what does it mean so if we don't put any negative sign it's mean the offsetting account will be credit and the other account will be debit so this is the general behavior in migrating that offsetting account always will be a credit so if you want the offsetting account uh, will be debit so we have to put negative sign so as in our entry we want offsetting account debit because uh, vendor is credit so when we are uh, issuing invoice receiving invoice from the supplier uh, we our liability is uh, going to be increased so uh, vendor account will be credit so the opposite account will be debit so if we don't put negative sign so the my when we are migrating this account will be credit but we want it it would be in debit sign so we put negative sign so now the opposite entry will be posted when the account is credit and this account is debit so this is the main thing you have to remember other things are nothing uh, yeah no, no, not at all so first we will uh, upload this thing then we upload the general ledger so going back to ltmc upload file So upload it. So first time when you're uploading, it will ask the company code. You have to confirm it. But uh, next time it will it will not ask. So it is uploaded. Next, select this. Make it activate. Then start transfer. next if there is some error so instead of information there is error so these two will come for the first time next time it, uh, it won't come just open it and save it it will show the invoice kr because it's the first time we are using so it is showing this next time when you are uploading it will be green automatically so just save it Mapping of supplier five thousand. Save it. Select all. Confirm mapping. Then next. 
Now it will go to the third step. So if no error is coming out soon, everything's going fine. Next. So finish it. So it is finished, mean no error game, it made it successfully. So we have to go to easy access screen. Now we run the supplier report. Let's see in May is balance game or not. So balance is coming and it is in credit side. So that's also a main thing. Why it is coming? Because we put minus sign. So that's why it is coming in there. So if you want to check it out, just double click it. This is the entry. So this is reconciliation account. This account is credit. Vendor account debit is this. This is reference. And this is the bill. So that's for the supplier. No offsetting account. I will show you offsetting account. It has a balance of debit, 700. In May, there's a 700 debit balance, but there's no credit balance. So we, we have to make it credit so that the, the balance will be nil. So for this, we have to make entry credit offsetting account. Why? Because while migrating through AP, there's a debit balance here. So we want, now we have to credit this account. So credit offsetting account and debit GL account. So that's the entry we have to make debit GL account or credit off. So what we do, we again go to back. We are using the same project, AKAR. We find the template for GL open item. This is GL account open item. Click this, then download it and as i already downloaded so i'm not downloading it again so simply go here so document type we are using sa you can use any other like they have mentioned that ue is the recommend, recommended one but it's up to you so company code reference anything you can write these are the main two things that now offsetting account is the one which we want to be zero so if we go to yes see this account offsetting account has a debit balance so we wanted uh, another entry on the credit side so we go there so this is account offsetting account and GL account is the debit and how the system know that uh, this account should be credited because here it is not written debit credit with the negative sign so automatically by default all the templates with the offsetting account is credit so if we want to make it credit uh, uh, we will uh, put the value in a positive but if we want opposite we will put negative sign so in this case we want offsetting account credit so we don't put anything with a number digit so automatically value will be credited so debit is of a jail account and as i told you this value is equal to the retainer name in the end so date is may amount is 700 and currency i think that's it again again this value date is not mandatory because there's no Stacks and so you know. 
so just save it and upload this thing go back upload so this account AP. Select this thing, activate it, and start transfer. Warning is coming. What is a warning? It cannot already transfer to the target. It's a warning. First time I saw this warning. So scroll this, 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 this. I think opening business. Yeah, I think this is the thing. OPB and uni because I have used this thing in AR as well. So probably it is saying that this thing should be different. So, but it's warning. I hope it will work. So main thing is that if there is error coming then it's a problem if there is error then there is a problem so there is no error let's see whether it work or not see these are all green so i'm not going to open it i just select all at all confirm that thing if there's red then i will open it and to confirm it as it is already green so Again, warning is coming. Let's see. So finish now we check in the yes we go back so there's a debit balance there's no credit balance means that this entry is not transferred because of this warning so we will try it again let's see and if we check this one
So in Gmail account also the other account, there's no entry. This account, so we just change it and upload it again. So opening balance API can write it this. Save it. Save it again. Okay. So API and this one. So it is not allowing to deactivate it. So I have to change the name of the file because it will not allow me to save it the same name. So what I do, I will go there and save it with different save as APGL2 save. Now a profile. APGL2. APGL2. I hope it will work. So activate it. Start transfer. So see, there's no warning now, only information, no error. So that is a uniqueness we have to just consider, that's it. Select all, confirm everything. I'm not anticipating this error, but warning. But, okay. So main thing is information. If there's some error coming, then you have to fix it. If there's no error coming, it's been good to go. So last up, hopefully it is uploaded. So yeah, the state is this. So now double confirm it. This is GL account. This is our offsetting account. So now entry is gonna 700 credit, uh, it is zero in, in the month of May. And uh, yeah, that's it. For this and for the other account as well.
standard debit is going and this all will be zero when we are when we enter in routine earning account this i will make one video in which i will take a trial balance which has all assets bank customer supplies then i will show you how this account will be zero so i think it's pretty, uh, pretty much same as account receivable nothing new only the template is different and then the negative signs you have to just uh, be careful when you're putting that's it so so this is account payable and next uh, probably i will show you how to upload the chart of account then the balances so i will try to I mean, uh, make as much uh, videos on ltm uh, mc as possible so easy for you when you are uh, migrating data from the legacy to s4 thank you so much for your time if you like this video just subscribe and like and share it until then until next video bye